guys, this is the Grand Gamer bringing you the grandest content on GTA, and you might hear an echo, let me change that, okay. But anyways, I've got the update 1.16 stuff that I bought. This right here is the Kukwet, here, let me make sure I know what this is, I think it's the Kukwet Classic. Yeah. And it's actually pretty good. As I run into the fence there. I just got it redone, and as you can see, Jordan's talking back there, messing up the video. <laughs> and it's actually pretty fast, so I'll go and show you guys just how fast it is. Because this might be something you guys want to purchase. And I believe this one was $665,000. So, kind of pricey, but if you want an old-looking car, old-looking sports car, this is the way to go. Hopefully I can break through this stinking gate here. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> I'll just show some shots of me running down the runway. Now there is a topless version of this, but I did not get it because this was the cheapest. And if you did not know, this is a very expensive update. <laughs> but I did get the planes. And that is the classic Kuklet. And I will see you guys next with the 16-seater Miljet Buckingham. Okay, I am back, guys. And this is our 16-seater Miljet. It says U.S. Air Force on the side. So I'm going to have some friends pop up in here with me. No one coming come into their gamer tag. But maybe y'all will later. Well, some guy did comment a PSN, but I don't have PlayStation. So, are you getting in, Jordan? Okay. Let's take this bad boy out for a ride. Now, you may hear some changes in my mic because I'm moving away from it and stuff. And it's actually not that bad for transporting, you know, your crew. If you were going to a mission or whatever. As they say, it transports them in style. <laughs> so let's just get some good shots of this plane. It almost looks like, what's that plane called? It's, um, not the, it's a, the Shamal or whatever, Shamal, whatever you want to call it. Except for, I think it holds more people. So let's get one of these Air views. Force. As you can see, it's a pretty good plane. Goes pretty good speed. But the next one I'm about to show you is probably the fastest. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, I know it's the fastest. It would probably, do y'all think it would probably run about the same speed as one of the military jets? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to take this back and land it at the airport. Alright, so I will see you guys with the Western Besra. Okay, so um, I'm back, and this one right here, I bet you're guessing, is the Western Besra. And in a minute, after the Besra, I will be doing this one right here. What is this called? The Hilo or something? Something like that. I don't know. Swift. So, right now... We are going to get into this, and we are going to see how much faster it is than the military jet P-96 laser. So, let's go ahead and do this, if it is faster. Alright, let's go ahead and get lined up on a runway. It might be, because my, the jet's about had it. It, it was a really hard landing. Are we going to just start right here, or? Yes. Alright. You can say when to go. Wait, crap. Alright. Do three, three two, two, yeah. Two, one, go. Oh, that's a lot faster. Okay, so it looks like the Bestra is going faster than the military jet, but he might be able to pull ahead. It looks like he's gonna pull ahead. 
Or not. We might just stay the same speed like this. I don't know. But let me get some cinematics of this thing. There's the wing view. Here's just a side view of it. And it can dive bomb very good. So if your friends have this, watch out. They might be dive bombing you sometime soon. Alright. So that is the Western Bestra. One and only. And I will see you guys next with the, um, what is it, the, the Swift Hilo or something like that? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Flying Bravo. Flying Bravo, that's what it's called. Alright, here we go. To the Swift Hilo. I mean, Flying Bravo. Okay, here we are with the Flying Bravo. Finally got it right. And it has a nice design with it. And I also like this door right here. The sliding door. Alright, so let's take this thing out for a ride. <clears throat> and let's see how good it does. Does this thing have guns? No. Oh. I thought something had guns in this update. Apparently not. You can pull up the landing gear. You can? Yeah, let's try. Looks like you can. No, you can't. Oh. Okay, well, anyways, this is the, uh, Flying Bravo. <laughs> Took me a while there. And it's actually a nice, j I mean, nice helicopter. <clears throat> Let's see how fast it can go. It's probably about the normal speed, but it just looks better because it's it's two colors. Get some nice cinematic views of this. And let's go land it on top of the maze bank. <laughs> And I guess that will conclude this episode. Well, not episode, but whatever. This video of update 1.16. And what I bought, which was most of it. Most of the big stuff. Well, all of the big stuff, actually. And that has been Grand Gamer. I mean, Grand Man. I don't know why I always want to say Grand Gamer, Jordan. It's like your name's more catchier than mine. That's Flying Bravo. And, oh, and this is also another thing you can buy. This suit right here. It really looks cool. But, that is it, guys. And I will see you guys next time.